shortage of burger joints in Washington, D.C., but we hear the good stuff is on Capitol Hill. We caught up with celebrity chef Spike Mendelson at his Good Stuff Eatery to see what all the hype is about. Am I putting you to work here or what? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's amazing energy right now. You had a line out the door before yes. this place opened. It's a Monday. Yes. How do you do this? This is every day. Uh, I mean, uh, after a year, I think we're pros of the burger business, so it comes very easily right now to us. The big, huge celebrity chef push in the beginning for the marketing is great. But if you don't come through with the good food, the good atmosphere, and a good business, no one's going to come back. So uh, I'm happier that, that they come for the food than for what I did on Top Chef. After world-class training on three continents, Spike took a turn on the popular reality show Top Chef. He lost the judges' favor, but never the support of his fans. With that momentum behind him, he opened up Good Stuff Eatery in July of 2008. After the opportunity of Top Chef and all like the marketing and the PR that I got out of it, I kind of want to be a big fish in a small pond. So uh, DC just kind of made sense. And this location is what really sealed the deal. And um, it's just a great area. I mean, it's always busy, it's very transient, and, and uh, a lot of young people always filtering in and out. And it's not just young Hill staffers stopping in for a burger. Michelle, how was the onion rings? Last week, Michelle, Sasha, and Malia Obama paid Spike a visit. Now officially I have to say Michelle Obama and uh, the family are regulars. They've been in uh, twice already. I think the, the coolest part for me is watching uh, Secret Service kind of deal with the whole situation because they're, you know, like, they're sitting there while we're cook cooking their burgers and they're like, what are you doing? I was like, well, I'm salting the burger. It's not like a special powder or anything, it's just salt. And, uh, but they do a great job and they're a lot of fun, so. Did they take a burger to go for the president? Uh, they took 30 burgers to go, so I'm not sure if the president was really hungry or if uh, they were gonna just uh, hand them off to people, but uh, I think he gets uh, something to go usually. The president has pulled up with Secret Service before and ordered bacon ch cheddar with uh, steamed broccoli, so. So we know he's kind of in the Good Stuff family too. Yeah, I'm still waiting for him to show his face though. Spike says his formal education in the kitchen is all the more reason to focus on an American classic. So we kind of figured if we just took burgers and elevated it just to a little bit better farm fresh ingredients, it'd be a home run and everybody can come in and get a burger. It's very affordable. I'm not a, the type of guy that wants to take burgers and make it a gourmet burger. I hate when people that use that term. Uh, so it's just, it's, it's rips off of classics just done in our way. No one can walk into good stuff and not have something to eat. A couple of us are all really classically trained with French food, so it's kind of funny that we're all wrapping burgers and grilling burgers, but it's good times. And the good times will keep on rolling. Good stuff expansion is on its way, so we'll be popping up hopefully in, a, there's a place in South Beach, maybe even um, Union Station, we're looking at Bethesda. And then the newest concept is going to be a pizza place that we're opening actually right here next to Good Stuff. This beautiful little building here. I think we're maybe even going to make our own sodas, like make our own salsa and a few like egg, egg creams and blackberry soda. Are they going to beat the shakes? Yeah. I don't know. The shakes are pretty hard to beat. In case I had any doubts, Spike took me into the kitchen to show me how it's done. His signature shake made from homemade custard and roasted marshmallows. That's delicious. Pretty good. Right? <laughs> Very it's, thick. It's like a campfire. He's only 28, but it looks like Spike has found the recipe for success. For Washington Unplugged, I'm Kaylee Hartung.